Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legends of the Wind Waker. In the last episode we placed a second pearl and we also made it to this little island here, the private oasis. And we picked up a few map locations and so it's just been a long time since I, uh, you know, uploaded Wind Waker and uh, I want to apologise for that. Uh, there being no videos in a while. Um, uh, where do I start? <laughs> well, college is back now, so um, everything was a little bit hectic, you know, get everything ready and such, so uh, yeah, that's why the, that was the main reason why there haven't been any videos for, you know, quite a long time. And I'm sorry if I sound a bit like snuffly, a bit stuffed up in that. Uh, I think I'm coming down with a cold, so um, if you hear me sniff every now and then, it's that. Like that. So, I guess we can make way to the third pearl location. I suppose. Um, I can't actually remember what, 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 um, we were doing. I know, um, and also, if you're wondering why my rupee count is one rupee higher, um, in that water, you know, this little pond area, uh, there's a water, um, well, of course there's water in it, I don't know why I said that, um, there's rupees in it and such, uh, I, um, apparently, um, so, and I picked one up by accident, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, if you're wondering, and if I do get those rupees later, I'll probably will get them later, because I think we do come back to this island. And that, that guy over there was like going on about, you know, seagulls. Loads of them in the, that general direction. And it's near the next island, which I'm dreading. There's a reason for that, and that's the reason why I saved it for last. Um, I'm not looking forward to it. Let's just say that. You'll see soon enough. But um, if we go over to those uh, seagulls, something might happen. So. Yeah, let's go and see some seagulls. Maybe this treasure, like, maybe the garden treasure or something. I don't know, but away with us. Yeah. And hang on, 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 hang on. Uh, there's. I remember there being treasure, um, like that, uh, like the, um pillar of light coming out of the water. I think we'll pick up that, you know, because uh, yeah. I didn't want the boomerang. Uh, what do we want? Uh, this one. We're right near it as well, which is, that's a uh, lucky, I suppose, and it's raining. No! Uh, I think we just etch closer. You know, just slowly but surely, and we'll. When the uh, the little sound is at um, its highest pitch, I think we're more or less on on the uh, the treasure and its location. And we got it first try. What do we get? Come on, Link. What is it? Tell me. I want to know. Treasure. We get more well, cottage treasure, but we get a silver rupee, which is worth another 200 rupees. And that was also another thing that I forgot to mention. We also got like a bunch of rupees in the last episode, so that's awesome. And another 200 to boot. What is what I have to say? Right, I don't think I've ever picked up that many rupees in 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 so many episodes. <laughs> I don't know, I lost my train of thought. So, uh, we want to go over to those seagulls now and, you know, it seems suspicious that there's so many are congregating around. And, um, I think the, uh, the telescope definitely helps, you know, looking for the seagulls, even though sometimes it can be a pain, like I'm having a bit of trouble right now. Um, but, it needs to be brighter, I think. But if you, um, sometimes, like, sailing around blindly, that's worked for me. But that's just my that's just my personal opinion and personal um, experiences of uh, with this game. So, but uh, seagulls. I don't really want to, you know, sail blindly around the island because it takes up too much time. 
But I think I'm more or less near them anyway. I think I saw them before. Um, or is this them? Is this them? I think this is, I think this is them. I'm, I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> oh yes, we're here. Okay, we can go. We can go closer now. Um, okay, when this happens, you know you're definitely close to what I, what um, I was looking for. Um, this guy. Uh, this is a big octo, and uh, they can be a pain to deal with. Um, I remember one of my, uh, one of my first playthroughs. Uh, um, I didn't have a boomerang. I was on my way to the forest haven and I got, you know, caught up with one of these guys, and I just had to wait it out until he finally, you know, said, you know, I'm taking you to the part of the world. And that's when I was trying to look for her back at Fire Mountain, where I was just like wandering around aimlessly. Um, and I know there is one uh, at Fire Mountain or near Fire Mountain, it might be in another square, but I'm just thinking it's uh, Fire Mountain. Um, oh yeah, and um, how to kill these guys? Uh, um, well, there's two ways uh, to be exact. Uh, there's the boomerang, which is where I'm doing it, and it takes three hits per eye. And there's another way that you can do it with the bombs, but um, both have the pros and cons. Like the uh, the uh, bombs are, are limited, but they kill the eye in one hit. Whereas uh, the um, the boomerang is unlimited and it takes three hits to kill the eye and you also got that little you know recharge point I suppose you know when the boomerang like you know coming back to Link I guess that's the easiest way I can explain it really uh, so we want to go over to we want to cruise over to this uh, ring of light and get our treasure because uh, they got toes leave treasure um, and it's usually good treasure too from personal experiences um, that I've, you know, encountered when playing this game. And I didn't want the boomerang. Okay. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm way past it now. Like, the, the little tune can be a little bit deceiving also because, uh, you know, uh... Because the sound could play, but you could be far away from it. At least, that, at least that's what's happened to me in, in my past playthroughs. And I thought it'd just be funny to mention it in a way as, as well. And I can't talk properly today. It's probably because I've got a, like a little st stuffy nose. So yeah. I'm hoping it's going to be gone by tomorrow or something because. <sighs> I I don't know. Um, we get 100 rupees. Well, it's an orange rupee, 100 rupees. Um, not bad. 300 rupees we picked up today, uh, today in this episode. And now it's time to go to the island I have been dreading the most. Well, let's just get this over with. There's a reason why I hate the, why I hate this uh, island. Well. Strongly dislike at the island, but I, I don't really like to use the term hate much because, you know, because uh, uh, these guys freak me out. Uh, basically, they're the, they, they're the bigger, okay, they're the way bigger cousins of the P hats, the C hats. That's what I'm running away, I think. Well, it's just my might have just been me and basically uh, these guys freak me out um, they didn't used to actually um, I was um, when I was playing the game and I was you know on the um, bit where um, on the storm portion of the game um, I, I took a different route to Windfall Island and I bumped into a bunch of these guys and they freaked me out ever since because I got ambushed and I was like, uh, get away from me. <laughs> so they freaked me out ever since and I really, really don't like them. They just scare me the way they just, you know, just bob back and forth in unison like the way they do. They'll just go away. Why can't they just go bother another island? 
I don't know if I'll be getting a map fish location just yet for this island. <laughs> but I'll definitely get it later. Even if it's like much later, I'll still come back for it eventually. I'm hoping there's another method to kill these guys because they seriously, you know. I'm lost for words right now. I've lost my train of thought. I don't know how I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna get rid of these, rid of these guys or just at least avoid them. I could be sat here a long time. A very long time. Okay, that might be a little bit of a slight exaggeration. Or maybe not. <laughs> it's sunset and I'm still sat in the same location of uh, the sea hats. You know, I think I'll just edge it closer. Like, as soon as they come into colour, I'm just like, you know, oh crap. <laughs> to put it bluntly. Okay. So far it's um, P, um, not P hat, C hat's one. What angel forever? Zero. <laughs> and I'm so... I hate these guys. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Just like, let's just go. I know, I know. Because I bet you, you are all like screaming at your screen like say, you know, just go already. You know? <laughs> oh, get, get away from me. You know, stay away, you know, stay at relative, relatively far distance and everything will be, you know, peace restored in a way. And I made it to the island. Yay! You know what? Just for good measure. Die. Whoa, 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 don't you come on land. I didn't know that could happen. Since when did that happen? I never knew that to happen in this game. Like, I know they can, like, you know, they go all haywire, but I didn't know they can actually come on land if the, you know, the ground is, uh, steep enough, but... What? <laughs> it's all I can say. And um, should I kill another one? You know, I think I'll let those live. And um, I don't want to hit the King of Red Lions, because the King of Red Lions did nothing wrong. Okay. Give me the, give me the orb at least. Ah, not bad. 828 rupees. And I think it's about time we go and place the pearl in its uh, respective location. Wandered tra traveller who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the pearl you hold here. And Link places the pearl and... We finally place the final pearl in its right, in its right location. Happy days. And what's gonna happen now, I wonder? because he just like gets you know he's been shot out of a, uh, a cannon and he's been blown up by a statue and I kind of feel sorry for the lad you know because what did the statue ever do to him even though uh even though it's kind of cool how this uh you know this cutscene is um it's probably one of my favorite cutscenes in the game Just because this happens, and I think it's pretty damn awesome. I'm <laughs> just saying. Look how awesome that is! Like this whole structure is like coming out of water. It's awesome. And Link gets hit by the structure. Poor little Link. Poor little Link. When will good ever happen to him? All the time. You know, I used to fight monsters and such. <laughs> now I'm just rambling. This. That's pretty awesome. Just saying. I know I said it before, but 
Still, I can't say it enough because it's still awesome how, but you know, eh, lost for words. Still gets me every time, you know. It's pretty awesome. And I know I said that about, uh, I've probably overused that word now, so, I'm, you know, uh, I'll be quiet. I'm listening to the King Red Lions. Like, they're basically, basically saying, like, you know, we've faced many trials and we've battled through dungeons and we've received all the pearls and now our next challenge awaits us in this uh, in this building uh, which yep yeah, the trial of the gods which we will do in the next episode so um apologies for no uh, videos in a while and I'll see you guys soon in the next episode